This is CCSC right here, and I'm videotaping this with my wife's camera. But uh, there's the program right there that I've written for these interrupts. I'm going to go up here to the Build All button and push that. And then a little screen pops up. It comes pretty quick, but it says Build Succeeded. Alright, then I'm going to go up here to File, Export. Now I'm going to export the hex file. I don't know why you have to do this, but it won't work if you just use the hex that it makes. Interrupt Test. Yes, I want to replace that. Now I'm going to go down here to my taskbar and click Picket 2. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This is the Picket 2 window right here. I'm going to go up here and go File, and then click on Interrupt Test, and it'll load the hex. Now we're going to write the program. Once the little green pops up, programming successful. Now, here's the Picket 2, and here's what happens when you write to this. It says, mm, I'm busy. It's writing, and now... We're ready to play with this thing. This is my interrupt button that I have programmed, and when you click it, it starts counting in binary. And there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's fifteen. Now, if I keep going and keep going and keep going, I have an LED that skips on the uh, fourth bit of the C port. But there you go, there's my high brightness LED, and it'll keep counting, but let's just get all these LEDs going here. That's how this interrupt works. And this is the Picket 2, programmed in CCSC. You can check me out at http colon backslash backslash tech-tut.com, and I'm Robbie.